so today we will see how to integrate dynamic 365 with uh, microsoft azure so first of all we have to create uh, an azure service hub then we have to create a queue inside that service hub service bus and after creating the queue you have to configure the plugin registration tool which is available for dynamics and after that we have to connect from dynamics 365 account entity to queue and uh, further we can read that uh, queue message from the azure queue to uh, some email activities or any other system that we want to push it okay so let us start uh, with creating a service bus so we have to log in portal.azure.com which is the home page of azure here we have to click on create a resource and when we click a create a resource you will find in the integration section you will find a uh, option called a service bus so click on the service bus now service bus is a you know azure app service which will provide a uh, functionality to capture messages from different applications now you have to choose the subscription first then re re select a resource group if you have created any resource group already then you can select it otherwise you can create new resource group here here you have to give a namespace which will be unique for the service bus for your entire microsoft azure apps let me give a name my service bus d365 so it is found so it is ticked now i can choose the location of which data center i want to select for the azure now the pricing tag let me choose basic now I'll click review and create. Now review and create step will validate the service was namespace. Once it is validation validation succeeded, then I can click on create. Now as soon as the uh, service bus is created, it will deploy and it will take some couple of seconds to uh, deployment uh, successfully deployment. Now it is showing deployment is in progress. Let us wait for some seconds so that it will give a success message. Normally it takes uh, 10 seconds. So now it is creating a line item here. You can see that. So always remember to choose uh, correct subscription and uh, resource group. Now once the resource is uh, completed, the deployment is complete, then we have to click on go to resources. At this stage, uh, we have to create a queue. So we have to go to queue here. And here I will click on queues to add new queue. I can click on this plus queue button. I can give a name of the queue. My service, my queue D365, let me give. And I can click on create. So it will be created in some couple of seconds. So once it is created, I will just click on this queue. And when I will click this queue, so I'll go to service bus again let me go to resource and I will go to so once the queue is created so this queue is created now I will create a shared service shared access policy I'll click here shared policy access so if I'll go to queues let me double check if it is successfully created or not So this is already created. So I can click this uh, queue and click on shared access policy. Now I can add a policy here. My queue shared policy. And I can click on manage. So my uh, shared access policy for my queue is created. Now I can go back to the service bus and I can see if my queue is properly enabled or not.
Yeah. Okay. Now, once the queue is created and I have created the uh, shared access policy, then my uh, my next responsibility is to uh, go to our. So I have to copy the. Uh, I'll go to queue and click on this. So I'll go to shared policy again. Now once I'll click this, you'll find there is at the right side you will find a primary connection string. You just copy this string and paste in a notepad. Okay, because we will use this in our later stage. Now we will directly move to the uh, plugin registration tool. Here I will connect to my organization service because from our plugin registration tool only we can uh, call that service and point that we have created in Azure. Now I'll, I will use my username password to log in. Click on login. It will take, it will retrieve all organizations from Microsoft Common Data Service that you have already created. And it once the login is success, it will list all the plugins that are already been registered in your organization. And the next step is you have to create a, you have to register a service endpoint in the plugin registration tool. Okay. Now, see it's displaying, it's loading the messages. So I have to wait some couple of seconds. Now, uh, when we will create, so the first step you understand, we created a service bus and we have created a queue inside the service bus and we have created a set access policy with giving a manage permission and we have copied the primary connection string. This is what we have done in Azure. Now we will connect uh, the service bus from the plugin registration tool. I'll just click on this register and click on register new assembly. Sorry, I will click on register new service endpoint because we are connecting to, we are integrating to service endpoint. Now click on this, let's start with the connection string from the Azure service bus portal. So I have already copied the connection string with me. I can copy this and paste here. And I can click on next. So it is asking uh, to provide, so it will automatically pick the details from your connection string. And uh, you can choose what is your queue name. The queue name is already given, but without uh, Clicking .NET binary, you select JSON object as mission for, uh, message format and everything remains uh, same. So click and save. Once this service endpoint registration is completed, we will add a step so that uh, whenever an account gets created in the Dynamics 365, I can pass the account information to my queue so that I can read the information from the queue. So this is my uh, service bus and service endpoint. I'll just right click and click on new step. And as usual, I can uh, define a message. Let's say create of account, entities account. And here you will find the uh, service endpoint is my service endpoint and uh, the event pipeline stage is post operation and let it be asynchronous okay so click on register new step so the step is already added here so so once the plugin connection is done i will go to azure and create a logic app so that i want to send the JSON object that are receiving from the Dynamics to Azure queue in an email. Okay, so once it is done, I will go to uh, create resource and I'll go to integrations and click.
click on logic app when we click logic app it is asking what subscription what uh, resource group again you are trying to use they will logic name that uh, my logic app d365 and it will try to validate give the reason and review and create either you can create or, or you can go to click on logic apps so click on create now once the logic app is created you can use a template to start with or you can start from your blank uh, blank template so that you can use triggers and actions for as per your your need so click on go to resource so this will load the logic app designer where you can uh, select the trigger and the actions now for my requirement as i want to read the queue message and i want to send to an email so i can use either this when a message is received in service plus queue otherwise i can go down to check if there is any template available here now see pick lock receive a service message and complete it right so i can use this template so it is trying to uh, so pick lock receive service message and complete it otherwise i can choose any other if you find here this is also a pick lock receive service message with exception handling i don't want this but let me choose this use this template mm -hmm. so what this logic app template will do it will read the message from the service bus queue and it will complete the message and you can do any further action to send this information to any other uh, third party let me click this and add a new connection my service bus i can give here and i can choose the uh, service endpoint let me choose this uh, dynamic 365 integration service anything because i have already created three things so i can uh, use any one so you can choose a key that you have created now once the logic app is connected click on continue now here it will ask you what queue you want to choose this is the queue and how often do you want to check for items when it is received you can give one minute and here you can provide the name of the queue and after so normally let's give some 20 seconds delay let add an action and to delay 20 seconds once the message is completed i will add another step here to send an email here i will just use send an email I will specify to whom I want to send. I'll subject and count is created. And in the body, I want to define the content. Now I will just click on save. Okay. Now once it is saved, let me click on run. 
and is asking perform the starting action to view the run this may take few minutes i will just create go to dynamics 365 and create an account i'm expecting an email with the account created so i'll go to accounts and i will create a new account here so i will give a account name here let's say animesh and i will save it as soon as this uh, mm -hmm. uh, account with name on image is saved the service bus queue will trigger i mean ready to accept the information about the account and i'll go to logic app and i will see if it is running or not now it is running because uh, it will uh, because the account is created and now it is delaying um, uh, 20 seconds and now it is triggered when a message is received it is identified here that some, some message is received so now it is completing the queue now it will send an email yeah. now if i will open my email so let us see if i am getting an email or not so I'm trying to log in uh, Gmail because I have configured the logic app to send an email to my gmail mm -hmm. so this message i have received an account is created if i'll open this i will find all the json object with me if i'll copy this whole message session object i will go to I'll copy this in notepad and I will search for my account name then I can find the account details already exist here now it's not about account name I can expect many data items that are passed from account entity here so now as we have a JSON here I can use this JSON as per our business need further using logic apps right so this is how we can successfully integrate Dynamics 365 entity informations or table informations using logic apps, service bus and queue and uh, email activities. Thank you for your time.